right then, so we'll keep on going now. Uh, so it's all about perpendicular bisectors. So perpendicular bisectors cut it in half um, at right angles to each other. So I've got a coordinate P which is minus 4, 5, so that's left and up, and then Q which is 2, 3, which is right and not so up. Does that make sense? So P is minus 4, 5, and then Q is 2, 3. So I want the perpendicular bisector. I want a line that goes through the middle at 90 degrees. So I've got to think, if we were in class now, I'd get you a circle, thanks to uh, and get you to come up with a plan. And the plan that you would come up with is finding the midpoint, finding the gradient for the feet of you, and then make it perpendicular, and we'll put per to perpendicular. Can you close the door? Can you tell us that means the floor closed the door? Hopefully less than 30 seconds that. Let's make sure that the thing's still working, this seems to. Uh, make it perpendicular. Now do it like these can be interchanged, but then you're going to use the midpoint and the perpendicular in y minus y1. Right then. So let's go with the midpoint first. So I'm doing halfway between minus 4 and 2. So minus 4 plus 2 minus 2. And then halfway between 5 and 3 over 2. So my midpoint, should I call it M, the midpoint, is going to be, uh, what's that going to be? Minus 1 and 4. So that's the midpoint done. Right, let's look at the gradient then now. So the gradient from P to Q is going down, but how far is it going down? So it's going down, so you can look at the right there. So it goes down from 5 to 3, so it's going 2 down. And it's going from minus 4 to 2 across, so it's going 6 across. So the gradient is minus 1 over 3, but the perpendicular gradient is 3. So we'll check that, make sure we've got it all right so far. I don't think we've got it error. That's cool. Right then, so let's make the equation of a line now. So I'm going to use y minus y1 is um, x minus x1, and I'm using it with that coordinate and that gradient. So both of them are going in. No y equals mx plus c, we're getting away from that. So it's going to be y minus 4 is 3 lots of x minus and minus 1, so plus 1. So there we go, I've got the equation of the perpendicular bisector. I don't need to expand the brackets, I don't need to rearrange it, it just tell me to put it in an alternative form, so I stop there and it's done. Right, let's have a look at page 5. So page 5 is a question for you and a question. Question for me is a question for you. Right, so what we've got then? So we've got a line, L1, has the equation 4x plus y is 8. The line L2 is parallel to line L1, but passes through that point. Right. If I just sneakily rearrange this, that should make it easier for us. So I want the equations of a line to answer. So let's work with just line 2 first. Line L2. So I know that it's parallel to L1. The gradient of line 1, I'm actually pointing to it. You can't see that. So the gradient is minus 4, that's the gradient of the line. And it's parallel to it, so that's the gradient of line 2. And that goes through 2 minus 5. 
So I'm heading for y minus y1 is x minus x1. We've got y plus 5 is minus 4 um, x minus 2. And that's the equation of a line, done. Right, so that's that done. Don't need to expand it, rearrange it, that's fine. You can do though, you can expand, rearrange, and practice, it's all nice. Uh, right, so then it tells us for line L3. So line L3 is perpendicular to L1. So I'm going to use the idea that M1 and M2 is equal to minus 1. So I know that my perpendicular gradient is going to be a quarter. And that goes through the point minus one four. So I'm using y minus y one. I always write these down. So it just reminds me what I'm doing. There's so many different bits of formula you have to remember. You want to make it easy for yourself. Uh, let's just one. Yeah. So you want to make it easy for yourself, don't you? So there you go. Job done. I think Crod created the two lines. We could expand brackets, rearrange them, and see where they cross each other. Well, that doesn't ask for that, does it really? So it just says find the equations. Right, there's a question for you. Can you have a go at it? Ideally, kind of just pause the video, uh, have a go, and then check your answers against it. You see how pressing delete then works? Not working, is it? So I can move it up there. So I either stop there, well, kind of there, there, maybe. Unless it told me the difference, I'm saying different form. Right, I think potentially that's the lesson done. And that would just be consolidation of the job. Well done, everybody.